Hello and welcome to this tutorial that walks you through how to take measurements from your vehicle and input them into the Racing Aspirations Suspension Geometry Calculator. Okay, the first thing to do is, the, first, the easiest thing to do is to set the suspension up at ride height. And to do this, I've used paint pots and pieces of wood I found around the workshop. In order to find out the suspension ride height, I've got the chassis height here measured, which is 41 centimeters. I know I want the ride height to be um, five centimeters. So I've set the wheel to be 36 centimeters off the ground using this jack. And that's how I've been able to prop up the suspension. So I, should, I can take this off now. And then um, the wheel stays there, suspension stays there. And I can remove the wheel to make life easier, just to get in there and have a look. Okay, the upper control arm, or upper wishbone, as you might refer to it, uh, we take a measurement of that, uh, which is perpendicular to the length of the car. Uh, we don't measure across these diagonals. So in order to do that, we've got the front and rear joints here and here. And I'll get a straight edge and I will put that between the two joints and then get a second ruler and I will see where that crosses from the outer um, spherical bearing to the intersection of the ruler um, which is 228 millimeters Okay, for the lower control arm, um, it's the same thing as the upper control arm. We have one straight edge going from front to back of the chassis. Um, in my case, it's really easy because the front uh, connection and the rear connection, uh, spherical bearings are in line with the chassis. Uh, so I just have to have a rule going between the two spherical bearings uh, and then another rule going perpendicular to that to the outer spherical bearing and where the intersection is here is the measurement we want to take so i'm going to use a block because the lower rule is much lower than the upper and i would say that is 310 millimeters Uh, finally, we take the bearings of the uh, upper and lower control arms. You don't have to be too accurate with these uh, because the calculator gives you some wiggle room. Um, but it's nice to know anyway. So I'm going to use my phone for this. Again, this is a fairly rough measurement. And it's again very easy for me because my Bearings are in line with the actual wishbone. Uh, so I've got minus 5.6 as the upper and the lower is two degrees. Okay. And finally, we enter the control arm dimensions Click on the pencil icon, click on the forms icon, click on dimensions from vehicle. In the upper control arm length, enter 228. In the lower control arm length, enter 310. In the upper bearing, minus 5.6. And in the lower bearing, 2. 
reset the camber to its previous value, minus 3.9. Then reset the uprights. Always check all of your dimensions before clicking apply, as any one change may affect all the others. In this case, all of the dimensions appear to match those that we have taken, so I can click apply.